guys, this is Shauna with Lily Moon Studio, and I am back to show you guys my newest journal. I did a dark forest fairy themed journal. I love how this turned out. I'm hoping you guys can pick up because there's some green and gold throughout this. I'm not sure how well it's picking up in the camera. We use lots of texture, mixed media for this cover. And here is the tassel. Let me just remove it here. That's just on a bulldog clip. Just lots of glass beads and some feather charms. The fluff. It's very cute. Really like it. I love these leaves. I forgot I had them. I was digging through my stash of stuff and I saw them. I was like, oh, that would be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and set that to the side. The back is plain. Oh, you can pick up the colors a little bit better on the back. And then, so lots of texture here. And of course, closed it with some sari silk. It's used green. And I did use some of my uh, Distress Spray, the black. Black soot, I believe is what it's called. To kind of grunge it up a little bit, make it a little darker. It was just way too green. Um, yeah, kind of made it look like bark. Got this, one of the dark fairies. Um, this guy measures about nine by six, two and a half inch spine. We do have three signatures there, little beads poking out. Um, there's about 128 pages, give or take. And it is a floating spine, so everything will lay nice and flat. I did use a couple kits. I used a few from uh, Nature Sight, and I used one from Moment Trees. And I used um, some quotes from Calico Collage, and I will go ahead and link everything in the description so you can find it. Um, so yeah, so you know, feel free to give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't. If you've been here a while, hi again. <laughs> so let's go ahead and open this guy up and get to the flip through. Oh, that's under the book. That's why that's not coming out. So I did... Do something a little bit different for me <clears throat> for this so we start off with this it's got a cool quote there now you untuck this from there there's a little secret writing space and this guy opens up it's got all of this kind of a scrappy little notebook there for writing we've got this with some tags everything's backed by coffee dyed paper so you can totally write on that here this pocket's made out of braille or this tuck and then we've got these so i thought that was kind of fun changing stuff up like i've been wanting to forever and then i just haven't you kind of get stuck doing the same thing and you keep doing it <laughs> okay first image here beautiful fairies. I think the kit, oh, I jostled this. I think the kit is called like gothic fairy something. Something like that. I will link everything. Got a tag. Pocket made with braille. Cut this. Cut this. I did a lot of playing with paper on this one. We did this. Um, I saw a tutorial for it. Oh, I don't remember the channel name. I will put a link. So I'll put something that says like the channel that I talked about. It's like paper art something or something like that. I don't want to mess it up too bad. But she did this. It's like, I don't remember even what she called it. But it was really cool. And I was like, oh, I want to try to do something like that. You know, a unique page. And I think it turned out very cool. I'm going to have to definitely try to do it again. Lots of playing with paper here. Here we have another quote. Got a little card here. I played with my die cut machine a little bit. Oh, yes. There we go. And then here, if there's nothing in there, you can't even tell that that's a pocket. So that I thought was kind of fun. And that just slips right back in there. I do leave lots of writing space in this. You can absolutely write on this. Some 
trims. Got a little collaging here. I went ahead and used some eco dyed paper and then I kind of distressed the edges to give it a darker feel. So this is the middle of that first signature and I just used some little black like seed beads just to decorate it up a little bit. A little collaging there again. tag. A little quote on it. This is braille again. I did grungy up the braille with some like black soot distress oxide. Darken it up. Here is yeah some of the moment tree kit. I thought like the colors kind of watercolor it matched really well with the colors of the gothic fairies. So that worked out nicely. I like when things match. So this, and yeah, there's definitely a lot of sewing in this. And I've got these leaves, which, um, because I do get asked a lot, these I did pick up thrifting. Sometimes I'll find cool plants, like that people have donated, and I'll deleaf them. And I also, I, I washed these, um, I, it was horrifying. I sold a journal and, um, since I've had COVID, I've got like, like long-term side effects from it or whatever. I'm one of those weird people and I've lost a lot of my sense of smell and apparently it kind of smelled like cigarette smoke, which I'm like, I can't smell that. Like that's, I didn't realize I couldn't. Well, there's a couple really weird things that I should be able to smell and I can't. But so now I like make other people smell them and then I wash them and then I soak them in vinegar. Like I, I have this whole routine for it because I'm like, I never want that to happen again. Luckily, like she was very cool about it and she, I believe she was a smoker, but ah, it was horrifying. So yeah, instead of just like, you know, kind of cleaning them and assuming they're clean, like you can definitely wash them. Not hard to do, just takes a couple of minutes and this flips out for more writing space. And here we have a big card. So yes, learn from my blunder there because it was, oh, I hate it. I was like, I felt so bad. It was horrible, but you know, one of those things and luckily she was very nice. So that worked out for me, but you know, not everybody would be nice about that. little beads. I really like these papers. I feel like it really, I got the colors really well to match the kit and like the APC cards and yeah, which I hardly ever use as actual APC cards, but <laughs> there you go. One of these. go the last signature I do really like how this one turned out I struggled so bad this time starting a journal I kept like thinking oh I'm gonna do this and I'd kind of start you know gather you know collecting my supplies and going through all my stuff, finding stuff that I could use. And then I changed my mind. No, maybe I don't feel like doing a journal like that. I did it like four times before I started this one. It was a struggle, but yeah, finally decided on this and went with it. So I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to do this time after this. So that should go faster. I guess I tried something in here. I made it look like little burn marks. And you can see words from the book page that's kind of underneath there. And I don't know what it says because it is a foreign book page, but <laughs> okay, here is middle of the last signature. 
other side of that. Oops. Sitting at my kitchen table this time. My son's decided he needs to stick his computer up here. Didn't want it upstairs. Oof. But I still had a big mess on my desk and I was like, oh, I don't feel like cleaning it today. I'll do it tomorrow. <laughs> I really like how these turned out. I used a bunch of like distress sprays and stuff on some like homemade paper that had like some leaves and stuff in it. So it's got a really cool texture to it. I don't know how well it picks it up, but I really liked that page. It turned out really cool. I never have thought to do anything to those, but it's just so white and I'm not one to put white paper in my journals. I'm just not. Nothing wrong with it. It just... I don't do it. I don't know. It's a thing for me. I have to eco dye some more stuff. I didn't do a huge batch last time, so I don't have a lot. And that's the lady that's actually on the cover. And over here, I didn't do a fold out. So we just did a couple of tags. I love this texture. I My aunt, she brought me a couple curtains that she's like, I'm not going to use these anymore. You know, I washed them. Do you want them? And I was like, oh no, you know, I have curtains everywhere and black wouldn't really work well. And she's like, well, could you use them for your journals? And I'm like, you know, I probably could. So I use some. So thank you for that. <laughs> and that is the end of my flip through. So yeah, um, I will get this. I don't know if it'll be tonight. I'll get the video uploaded tonight. That should be fine. I don't know if I'll get this listed in my Etsy shop tonight or if it'll be more tomorrow. Not sure. Um, I work tonight. I do work overnights. I don't know if I've ever shared that. But um, yeah, so I will get this added as soon as I can. I'll get a link to everything. So thank you guys and I will see you next time. Bye!